Today, a look into what caused yesterday's blackout. And the men's soccer team prepares for spring. Stay tuned because Spinnaker News starts right now. Good morning, Ospreys. I'm Emmett Clark, filling in for Natalie Amp. And I'm Diana Shanks, and you're watching Spinnaker News. So, Diana, I hear that uh, we're going to be playing a professional soccer team. That's true, Emmett. The men's soccer team will be playing the Jacksonville Armada, so this is their first time playing a professional team. Wow, that's really exciting. Yeah. Uh, we'll get to that soon, but first, most buildings experienced a blackout yesterday morning. The core of campus lost power for a couple of hours from about 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. The problem seemed to originate from a blown fuse in an electrical cabinet, according to Jacksonville Electrical Authority and spokeswoman Jerry Boyce. Students who reached out to Spinnaker said that some classes continued outside and some buildings had emergency lighting. Buildings on the outskirts of campus, such as Hicks Hall, Alumni Hall, and the Wellness Center, were not affected by the outage. Recent pass rates for the National Certification Licensure Exam confirm that students from the School of Nursing at UNF are exceeding expectations. UNF nursing students had a pass rate of about 94% on the exam, well above the national pass rate average of 85 and Florida's rate of 74. With new evidence for an increasing demand for nurses, the School of Nursing changed the admission patterns this year. Admitting 36 students into the regular program and 36 students into the accelerated program twice per year will allow the School of Nursing to admit a total of 27 more applicants. The program also boasts an average of 97% graduation rate. Year-end results for the National Certification Licensure Exam are expected soon. So, were you on campus for the blackout? I was actually, I was in the library and I thought that the library was the only place that was out of power so I took a bunch of video to show my professor why I couldn't print the assignment for class. <laughs> yeah, no, I definitely, I heard about it and I didn't know if it was true or not and I looked at UNF Spinnaker's uh, Twitter and it confirmed everything. Well, there so. you go. <laughs> Uh, so what we got going on in sports? Well, as part of a seven-game spring schedule, the North Florida men's soccer team will face the Jacksonville Armada on the 24th here at Hodges Stadium. Head coach Derek Marinados told UNF Ospreys how it's always been a program goal to play a professional team in the spring. That's certainly a bold way to start an offseason. Best of luck to the guys. The men's golf team finished fifth in the C-Best Invitational. Sophomore Jordan Bachelor carded a career-low 69 in Tuesday's final round. He was joined in the top 20 by freshman teammates Andrew Alligood and Philip Knowles, who both tied for 18th. A new episode of Spinnaker's Coaches Show Center Court will be airing tonight. UNF student hosts Ryan Hennessy and Alex Gatlin talk about everything going on in the world of sports. The show premieres every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. on Spinnaker TV Channel 170 and Spinnaker Radio 95.5. You can also check out all the new episodes on UNF Spinnaker's YouTube page. Well, that's it for sports. Emmett? So, um, you know, we do have a magazine coming out. I'm sure a lot of people have heard already, um, but it is coming out this coming Monday. This Monday? Yeah. Awesome. Brand new issue. Um, so if you want to get your hands on a winter issue before they're gone, make sure to do it by the end of the week. Definitely. All right. Well, that's all we got for you today. More on the stories reported here and other stories, you can check us out at unfspinnaker.com. You can also like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash unfspinnaker. And follow us on Twitter and Instagram at unfspinnaker. Spinnaker also has a free app now that you can download on your smartphone. It's available on both the Apple and Google Play stores, so you can stay up to date with everything that's going on at Spinnaker. Well, I'm Emma Clark. And I'm Diana Shanks. Have a great day, UNF.